Hello, Scorpio. I missed you guys. Hope you're doing great wherever you are. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. Happy weekend to you, Scorpio. It's Saturday where I am. I hope you're going to have a beautiful, relaxing weekend that you are deserving. For those of you that are new to this channel, if you need a personal reading, you may email me directly. The email will be below this video in the description box. So, Scorpio, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. So that's what we're going to do. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with, facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, universe, please step in. So very clear and important messages for the sign of Scorpio, for Scorpio's highest good, please. And we we'll show us what's coming up for Scorpio in their life and how is Scorpio currently doing on their soulmate journey. What's coming up for Scorpio in their life and how is Scorpio currently doing on their soulmate journey? Let's see, Scorpio, what's popping for you? This is you looking over your finances really carefully, making wise decisions for yourself financially, investments, job, spending, profits. Yeah. Oh, you're going to be celebrating something. Yeah. Wow. This is your job showing up here. Job or business, wherever it is you work. And if you're retired, this is how you invest money. So you're going to be celebrating something to do with finances, some kind of financial windfall showing up here for you. Yeah. Whether it's promotion, raise, bonus, uh, business advancement, whatever it is, new job, whatever, new position, you're going to be celebrating it. It's going to make you happy. You're going to make wise decisions for yourself. Good for you. Yeah. You see very clearly what you need to do, you see this? This is you being very discerning, analytical, making wise decisions, researching. Yeah, not just rushing uh, through, uh, making decisions. You're actually researching, pondering, thinking, strategizing, being very discerning and making wise decisions for yourself. Good for you. This is beautiful. This is some kind of financial windfall due to your uh, careful strategies yeah with finances yeah this is showing up as wisdom on your part beautiful i'm loving this for you financial stability is so important right yeah so we don't have to worry about paying even basic bills right it's so important to be financially secure and stable in life we don't have to be rich but we need to be stable right universe please show us very good, Scorpio. I'm happy for you. This is good. It must be show us what's coming up for Scorpio and how is Scorpio currently doing on their soulmate journey. Yeah, you're going to have to make some kind of important decisions that involve money, but it looks like you're heading in the right direction. You're going to be celebrating financially. Um, Hmm. There's some jealousy towards you when it comes to your finances, whether it's at your job or in the family, because there's a snake here. You have to be careful with certain people because certain people will try to take advantage of you financially or gain at your expense. Look, your energy is beautiful. Whether you're male or female, you're showing up as the best queen of all queens, queen of pentacles. Not only that. Your third eye is wide open. You see this? This is you listening to your intuition, using your intuition. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Be careful because there's something sneaky going on at your job or business. Something hidden from you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Be careful. Universe, please show us. Like somebody sneaky around you that has to do with money. Yeah. <clears throat> so just like everybody else, we have times where we feel low financially and we feel high financially, right? Like we, we're doing well financially and then something happens, something, some unexpected hiccup happens on the road 
and we are not doing that well financially. That happens to everybody, everybody. So that's normal, right? Yeah, where we have ups and downs, highs and lows financially and emotionally, the same thing, right? Yeah, beautiful, the star. One of my favorite cards showing up here. So this is you proceeding correctly. You have good karma. You've done good deeds for others. This is beautiful. Yeah, be careful because mm, somebody is trying to trick you or make you believe something that's not true, convince you of something that's not true to gain at your expense or maybe because they want to see you fail because they're jealous of you. Be careful with certain people. Your intuition will tell you exactly who you need to be careful with. Oh boy. So your soulmate loves you, but they've been wishy-washy in and out of your life. Not really communicating effectively. They're checking up on you. Um, yeah, they're checking up on you. But they're showing up as a knight, which concerns me. Knights don't know how to offer a solid relationship. They're kind of wishy-washy in behavior. One minute, you, you, they're happy, they, they talk to you, then you don't hear from them for a week. So, yeah, that's knight's behavior. I, I like kings and queens. Those are solid, dependable. Universe, please show us what's coming up for my fabulous Scorpios. Yeah, you see, they're showing up for the second time as Knight of Cups again, even though we shuffled. They want so badly to clear the air with you. You have no idea. Yeah, they lost you. Look at this, the tower. So something changed in your behavior towards them. They notice a huge shift difference from you towards them, whether you tell them goodbye or are silent or both. Yeah, they're trying to figure out how to fix this. They're scared. They feel blocked. You're not reaching out to them. You're not chasing them. They feel a lot of guilt. They feel at fault. Yeah. So they see the things that they did wrong. Let's see what's going on. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Scorpio. That Scorpio has been dealing with. I showed up twice as Knight of Cups. And how is that soulmate of Scorpio towards Scorpio at this time, especially emotionally? What's going on currently with that soulmate of Scorpio? Ooh, apologies. So this means peace offerings, apologies, explanations. Ooh, this is them suffering in silence. They feel a lot of guilt, regret, shame, heartbreak. They have very hard time admitting to their mistakes, apologizing for them, initiating communication, expressing emotions. This was a serious connection between you two. It wasn't some frivolous dating. This was a serious connection, whether you were married, planning to be married, living together, engaged. Yeah, they're trying to figure out, are they going to be able to save this, to gain your trust again? This person knows how to communicate effectively when they want to. When they want to. Uh, but what worries me is that it shows clearly this person is very guarded emotionally. They don't like to show emotional vulnerability, express emotions. You see, they're going to have to change that if they want to be back in your life. They need to prove themselves to you through actions that are consistent, loving, nurturing, caring. Right? Yeah. Universe, you're not going to babysit a relationship. They either meet you ha halfway or you're moving on. Yeah. You have too much to offer to be putting your life on hold for anyone. Right? Yeah. You are a queen of pentacles. The best queen of all queens. Whether you're male or female. Universe, please show us. You have a lot to offer in all sorts of relationships. Universe, please show us. What's going on currently with that soulmate of Scorpio? Oh, they can be so stubborn, so set in their way, so scared of rejection and judgment. They're very slow to action, but they want to come towards you with communication of great importance to them. I don't like some of their friends. They need to be more selective, picky, because some of those friends, so-called friends, give them wrong advice, are showing up as toxic, frivolous in life, wishy-washy. You see this? With demonic wings over here. 
Yeah, this person needs to be more selective with people in their life. Yeah, you see? People who are just like that, who are behaving wishy-washy, who don't commit, who don't express emotions, who don't communicate effectively, this person needs to really uh, make major changes in their life. <clears throat> Universe, please show us. Hmm. What's going on with this soulmate? Look how much they love you, but you don't feel it. Because if you truly felt their love, you would be with them, right? Yeah. You don't feel this love. No. Look how scared they are that you block them or are going to say no to them or judge them or reject them. For the third time, they're showing up as a knight of cups. They're showing up as three knights over here. Knight, knight, knight. <clears throat> The only knight that's missing is knight of swords, which is knight of communication. This person is so scared of your rejection judgment. This person needs to learn from their mistakes. So they have a lot of emotional baggage from past relationships that they need to address and work on. To not allow that negativity to affect this relationship uh, badly with you. Yeah, they, they need to let go of the past, forgive, release. They want so badly to clear the air with you. But uh, wanting and doing are two different things. So they need to act upon this, right? They can't just want and think you're going to run to them. <laughs> That's not going to happen. Um, yeah, they need to meet you halfway. They need to uh, extend the olive branch, reach out, communicate, right? The ball is in the cord. Huh. Universe, please show us what's going on with this soulmate of Scorpio. Yeah, they're waiting to see if you're going to call off, reach out to them first before they reach out to you. So they would feel more at ease if you reach out first. No, 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 no. They need to be reaching out to you. Proving, that, yeah, very stubborn, stuck in their ways. Emperor. This person has a lot of pride. They like to be alpha. They like to be in control. They don't like to apologize. They're going to have to change that. They're going to have to let go of that emperor's persona uh, to prove themselves to you. For sure. Look how important you are to them. This person realizes how important you are to them. Somebody new entering your life. Wow, you are manifesting new people in your life because you're not holding on to this person. You're not giving yourself uh, false hope that they're going to change overnight. Yeah, you are very, very realistic. Yeah, um, we're going to go into your extended reading. Obviously, we're going to ask about this soulmate, but also new soulmate popping up in your life that just showed up as the world. A card with magician first however we're going to ask about this soulmate's true genuine long-term intentions and plans for you at this time what they planning long term then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you whether purposely or can communicate for whatever reason but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good and of course at the end we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmates entering your life, the world card with the magician, energy, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Scorpio, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.